What's up? My name is African Crypto Warlord, and this evening we'll be looking at XRP BTC, and then I'll show you something extra sneaky. Let me just write it down so I don't forget. Extra sneaky. Okay. All right, I'm not on Discord. I don't have to hold Alt. <laughs> okay, let's go. So let me move it over to XRP BTC. For my homies that are watching um, in Alpha Trading Tools, just for our new guys, you can just type in on the keyboard, right? So I can just type in XRP and then or whatever it is, Sol, I don't know, AGIX, whatever it is, it'll pop up. Okay, just so you guys know, so that we're on microphone, we're in the same place. So th this is the thumbnail that we'll be using that's quite nice okay so what we're looking at is we're going to be looking at similar confluence for 12 hour like we're looking at on a 12 hour for um xrp usdt i posted about 10 minutes ago 20 minutes ago okay so we're going to first like inspect some ranges here see what our situation is um so we've got a pink candle a little bit random considering we just had a big ass pump Okay, that's fine. Let's put some oscillators on here. That's cool. Our returns are at least a little bit to the upside. Our, our moving average is wanting to make base itself of mean inversion. We are looking for a trend to grow from here. We've had uh, mean inversion points. This would be a nice place to throw up a cone and we more than likely distribute to, I don't know, second, the second level. You know, but well, you know, the second level. I forget the numbers. Okay. So that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. We've come up, we've hit one of the, I'm guessing it's a UMP, yep. That's sweet. And I need to see what Shannon has to say for me. Okay, Shannon is in a contraction phase with positive correlated, which means that a lot of orders, okay, so this has looked like this played out. So this thing played out quite big. Um, let's just do a double check from current to down. Yeah, that thing got that thing got its move so we'll be looking for Shannon's next print in the next three hours I mean next two hours 30 minutes to this is gonna go squiggly one's gonna go red one's gonna stay green and then a little bit of sideways so I'm gonna throw up to the seven day see what we have left some expansion um, contraction in our PC which if this prints red and it goes to the mean then we will see a daily test at Whoa, four zero uh sixteen eleven. XR poops for 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 bitcoins. Okay, so five day we're gonna actually make it back on seven days so I can catch all these guys as we start to shop the time frames. That's pretty good. Some low volatility but we still haven't had a flash on this guy for many mm -hmm. the last time this thing flashed was last year in twenty nineteen. So last year, that's like three years ago, around about this time, March 2019. Um, so when they all do flash again, it will be a point of concern. Right now, this does look like it's going to be pulled off. We have a bullish div looking to be forming somewhere in here. Um, DLP has been reverting to the upside. This one's moving to the upside. This thing's starting to catch its trend. This is a bit sketchy for me at the moment. Um, on the seven day, let's put it on the five day. Five day mean reverting to the upside, bouncing off the mean. Interesting. So it just got carved down as soon as it had the opportunity to, to try to push above or defend itself on the mean. This is the candle defending itself on the mean. We have expansion to the upside. I could say two, two, at least two more red columns would form after this. I'd say one more gray and yellow, um, and then it'll be both yellow and green positive correlation to the upside but that would only really form if we close above 1685 okay so that's on the five day so the five day will end in we're pretty much at the halfway point right now so two days and 12 hours away so now we're going to look at the three hour the three hour was uh, sorry the three day the three day was looking very interesting on xrp usdt so we'll be looking for some confluence in there but we're basing ourselves off of a, of a 
of our power mean by alpha trading tools and we're looking for some mean reversion to the upside this needs to this one that you see that is red needs to go green which means contraction and if that happens then this will float up and it will be friendly with that if we push this into not just skirting off the edges here so that's what a little push up would do on the three day we're going to go to 24 hours um, if you want to change time frame alphas uh, you can just type in the digits on your keyboard so for hours you want to go 24 and then press H or 6 and press H for minutes you just want to type 1 and press enter it will be 1 minute if you're typing 15 press enter it will be on the 15 minute ok let's just pull back to where we were contraction so we're looking at the previous thing screenshot in my head we're looking at the previous thing one needs to go into contraction phase that will mean revert the Pearson correlation in which will add the positive float so this one's a little bit uh, delayed in comparison to the XRP USDT with regards to the positive float looking to come through um, I didn't actually cover in the previous video where uh, VRE levels would be interesting points at um, XRP USDT so I'll close that off uh, on this stream um, 12 hour so 24 hours looking a little bit confused <laughs> given we've had a few candles just to the side contraction positively correlated that's going to tell us further down it's a very awkward time for XRP BTC I think I'm going to have to shuffle up to a higher time frame just to see the general positive drift that's coming in on which time frame ok so yeah we're at about that's chilled this is our expansion phase on the 6 hours so seems like the lower time frames are turning around the higher time frames that's why as I'm dropping in it seems a little bit confusing but we'll see if there's more upside con confluence because if there's more upside confluence on these little uh, on the lower time frames it will help push the 3 day the 5 day into positive drift with meaning volatility is contracting while it's negatively correlated which means the candle go up and check um, 3 steps uh, six rules. Okay, so some three-hour action. See what is happening here. So we've broken above our trend. We've looking for a mean reversion point. We're just having okay. So we have the law of small numbers and the law of fat numbers, large numbers. Um, playing out on this candle. Okay. And who is this candle? So she came from um, one of our means directly straight up into one of our VRE levels. We've touched our daily mean reversion level. Let me double check. Uh, hidden the notes. Um, let me just double check. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Yeah, daily VRE level is the line. So we've come up with our daily VRE level. We have a bunch of monthly time frames up here, which um, would just help me intraday if I wanted to scalp this. 90 minutes. We're going to be looking for a little bit of confluffling. Okay. So uh, our super boys have been pushing through, but they haven't had the outlier yet. Our super boss guys on our DLP. These are both DLP. These are the shorter length DLP. <coughs> Just displayed in white line. And then there's a longer term DLP. Just displayed in a cloud. Okay. So this is looking like we want to break back into trend, which can easily be confirmed. Um, if you to just trade, let's say the entropy and the JMA, I actually want to throw a VRE level up on this and turn this one off. Off. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, we should put the wall bounds on. Okay. JMA crossing in. That's perfect timing. I would say for me, JMA crossing into a VRE level, considering the candle went big, that's your that's your scalp. So this is where it got a little bit confusing. We can say the six hour was clean, the three hour was clean, the ninety minute we're still confused given we're hanging around by the daily VRE. Super chilled. So yeah, we've got a few levels in this region. This is maybe got one more chance to expand to the upside. If it does close above there in the next ten minutes, look for continuation to the upside. This seems going to hit its outlier event, but if not, it's going to want to start pushing at least below this JMA. So I'd say two candle closes above this moving average. Um, 
we go up two candle closes below we're going to go down um, it would make for a good place to uh, have price action look like it's very tight <laughs> so your returns will all go flatten out so the next move that comes after that will be quite powerful okay so then we'll put it on the 30 minutes and see if this guy there we go there we go so this 30 minute will support the previous time frame we're looking at which is three times higher so that is fine that's contraction phase into negative correlation that's going to add some float even though we are moving to the downside um, if we fail this JMA this VRE will catch um, the next part of the whatever signal needs to be generated over here they either can turn it around for a mean reversion RO defense <laughs> um, which would make sense considering if this carries on contracting both of them are here it'll it'll be bought up if it comes into the VRE level for how long we don't know this be crypto so you can expect a wick there at least um, I'd say in some time some time future so we're coming into our on a 15 minute same thing that's applying here on a 30 minute oh this is so nice I should actually be chiming on this thing man um, so we have some contraction and also a mean version on Pearson correlation so as as, as we're saying shuffling from the high time frames it's a little bit eeky a little bit eeky we've just found out look at this beautiful contraction that's happening here obviously a lot of people getting wrecked um, but yeah now we're going to be looking for a move generally if this was if these two were to carry on to the downside that would have turned around um, so there you go it's a nice closer back and it's still at the outlier so we've got eight minutes to do that so these indicators are pretty sharp uh, alpha trading tools hala hala check the discord uh, link in the description below okay and we may put it on the seven minimum and contraction also same thing wanting to move it downside uh, just in the next five minutes if that was to print in this one just goes magnetized and it will want to close its, its, its body maybe a fraction higher than the daily VRE or oh, hey kitty okay okay sure. get some acupuncture that's cool oh then we need to do uh, the, the secret one by BlackRock <laughs> cool so this is like uh, inverse with the chart we were looking at before I need to switch this off so I can see what's happening here so what you want to look for is generally a breakdown in this one um, and on the 12 hour let's put it on the 7 day so if this one breaks down so right so so so, so what it was is one bitcoin um, to buy one XRP how do I put it because it's to cost you 80 grand 80,000 80, XRP to buy one Bitcoin whereas right now <coughs> it can cost you 61 grand XRP to buy one Bitcoin so if it goes to the let me put a very level back on so I'm not just dumb sucking shit yeah so that's chill so let's say it was to get to this region I'm just gonna go 55 for an easy number it will cost you um, 55,000 XRP to get one bitcoin right um the closer it gets to one to one the more bitcoins we can buy uh, okay so seven days looking as well looking a little bit trashy to downside this is a little bit confused put it on the three day don't even need to see five day here contraction so that's going to cause us a little bit of positive float so this one's going to be to, to trade on this exchange um <coughs> it's quite serious so Contraction, that's chilled. That's chilled. That's chilled. We're looking for 52s. I would say on the three-day um, continuation mean reversion point. If it breaks through, that would push us through down. Um, let's put ourselves on the 24-hour. I don't even know how long this has been. 24 hours. So we got two minutes until I see the other one. Contraction. Sloppy chips. So this is this is looking like uh, it has an opportunity to at least push up. That's what six hour has to say. Yeah. So this will be its opportunity for the pump. Um, 
which can be scalped at 62,000 XRP for one Bitcoin. Um, and this, that's where you'd want to scalp this if it looks for continuation. We have an RO outlier. We are starting to move into a negative trend. So I'd say it's a very trappy moment in the sense that what you need here is this Pearson correlation to, to, to do a little fake out, you could say, where it prints one, one more section here. And then in the next print in two hours and 19 minutes, it's going to immediately uh, mess with returns so that this goes down and it contracts. And then that adds positive float. So that's what you'd look for to negate the previous um, XRP charts. So we're just looking at the BTC XRP is this. So the previous ones being XRP BTC. Okay, so this is big institutions. It starts to get a bit patchy. But the general idea being is if we put on a 21 day, play the game, big screen. What do we see? What do we see? Contraction, still not, still not happy, happy. So this is telling me that XRP does have a chance to get really weak against Bitcoin. What I'd be looking for is two candle closes below this um, medium term logarithmic line I have here, power mean. Um, two candle close below there for continuation to the downside. This is uh, the guys that will be moving the market if you want to be trading XRP. It's just inverse so I can mess with your head. And then I need to go back to XRP USDT. So this one's a little bit longer. XRP USDT. Let's throw up some VRE levels. Um, I'm going to view them on the three hour. And then I'll put the wall bands on. VRE, that's cool. Inflated, okay. So we've come in, we've hit our weekly mean. This is our monthly mean. So given that, we've literally just printed our new monthly mean. Um, two candle closes below. Yeah, I say we ping pong in this region. I think we hit 38.5. And then we do one last push down to 36.38. Everyone's going to shit their pants. More than likely be a wick over here. 36 on the dot. Um, and then try look for continuation uh, to the upside. Um, let's see if I can. Mm, I don't know if that time frame. I did this. Do that. Switch the wall bands on. And just see what the wall bands are currently touching on the one minute. And then by the time the video loads up, it will more than likely be in one of these regions. So just touch the VRE. Come from the VRE. We're in red, contracting though. So it's not going to be like super volatile. It's going to be a long ass drag until, let's say, the, the, the wall band picks up into this region. Um, and yeah, and then we'll look for some expansion of the wall bands and see if it is positively correlated. Okay. Have a good day. This looks like it is wanting to do its little bit of a dumperoo, considering significant correlation to the downside and um, uh, the, 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 the expansion is happening. So we'll wait this one out, 30 seconds, hitting our JMA. This is looking like once the universe is closed, the blue flash has ended. I think we print into the into here on our next candle we can and we need some contraction this looks like I said I mean nine seconds so I think I've, I also oh, I like to watch stuff on space so if you feel like the time is taking long um, it's more than likely because you're close to the black hole so uh, given that we trade black holes in our formulas are derived to understand what black holes do and where they are and the two different poles. So yeah, when time takes forever, just know that you're closest, you're on the closest edge to the black hole in physics terms. So then, contraction or still significantly negatively correlated. You see, so this is uh, it pumped itself into a dump. Um, 
sloppy chips. Uh, yeah, doesn't really matter. So we just go base ourselves off our very levels, um, and that will be more than likely one of these places will be for daily close um, or 15 minutes after daily open. Have a good rest of the evening. I'll put it back on the 12 hour so that we can monitor the positive drift that's happening. Ciao Bella. Thank you for trading tools in the Discord link. It's in the YouTube description.